was Generation Nord the best one-shot in Critical Role history? Hey, 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 you shut your face! Before we talk about the insanity of Generation Nord, make sure to like and subscribe to the character sheet to never miss a fantasy and tabletop update. And as always, spoilers ahead, so let's dive into this latest role recap. Sam Regal has a history of running some of the most fun and chaotic one-shots in Critical Role, full of insane, twisted lore, and unburdened by things like rules or game mechanics. Rules are for fools, save your stupid ruling for fools that need some schooling. But Generation Nord may have been the best Regal one-shot of all time, and in fact one of the greatest Critical Role one-shots ever, right up there with the horse-stacking insanity of the Elden Ring adventure. Cause that second horse is coming right down. <laughs> So what made Generation Nord such a glorious train wreck? Well, first of all, the cast, featuring the return of the amazing Lou Wilson and Amy Carrero. The debut of Christian Navarro, and of course, Laura Bailey and Liam O'Brien, are all young hackers trying to save the information superhighway from a terrible virus that threatens the entire internet. But even better, they were playing in a new, modified game system based on D8s instead of D20s, because Sam wanted it to be an 8-bit aesthetic. The only problem was Sam came up with this system the day of filming, he never tested it, and it was so imbalanced after the break he decided to change it to 2D8s to try and fix it, claiming that they had now evolved into a 16-bit environment. Things just got out of hand. The cast was sent by special guest Matthew Lillard, returning as Emmanuel Goldstein, his character from Hackers, who is now the director of the NSAA, to break into Johnson Corp, the cyber corp run by Ashley Johnson in the future, and destroy a terrifying virus known as Ruination before it can destroy the internet. I know that sounds bad. But what makes this episode so special is that due to a series of terrible rolls and untested last minute game mechanics thought up literally minutes before shooting, this cast is possibly the least successful party in the history of Critical Role. In a shocking twist that shouldn't really shock anyone, it's revealed that Emmanuel Goldstein is in fact the Ruination Virus himself, and the hackers are forced to play a series of elaborate, poorly thought out children's games to try and prevent Ruination from taking over the cyber world once they find him inside Johnson Corp. But seeing how none of this was really tested at all before the game, they fail in some of the most spectacular fashion we've ever seen on Critical Role. At one point, the entire party is literally laying across the table to try and control the mouse for a game of snakebite, and they fail over and over given how impossible it is for five people to try and control one cursor in a video game. And by the final 30 minutes of the episode, things have gone so bad that even Ruination starts taking pity on them and trying to help them, but to no avail. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? The young hackers fail the mission so badly that Sam has to basically rethink the entire ending on the fly as the cast and Matthew Lillard lose their minds laughing at how poorly this entire adventure has gone. With Sam finally deciding that despite ruthlessly crushing the hackers multiple times, Ruination was impressed by their plucky attitude and never say die spirit, and decided on his own to turn over a new leaf and not, you know, destroy the emails in all of cyberspace. It was the most Sam Regal episode of Critical Role in history, with a bunch of high concept, impossible to execute, and untested game mechanics colliding to destroy the narrative and force him to continuously change the story on the fly, as pure chaos rained down on a cast who literally had no idea what they were supposed to be doing, and I think after watching, you will agree that it deserves a spot as not only one of the greatest one-shots ever, but possibly the greatest one-shot in Critical Role history. So where do you rank Generation Nord in the pantheon of Critical Role one-shots? Let us know in the comments, and please feel free to toss us a like and subscribe on your way out.